So on behalf of Stephen and Cherith, I welcome all of you to this place, to this moment with Stephen and Cherith as they express their love for one another, and their desire to live together as husband and wife. You are their friends, their family, the ones that they love. Your presence here demonstrates the strength in your friendship and that love together. Stephen and Cherith have come together to receive one another in holy matrimony. The two of them have already recognized what we as family and friends today begin to understand also about the relationship, that they truly love one another. They have experienced the union of mind and emotions. They share this commitment with common ideals and the longevity to stay together with this public recognition of their ever-growing love one for another. So today, come together is to pronounce upon them the union and the blessings of Christ's church and to send Stephen and Cherith forth as husband and wife. I looked up the definition of sister and it says a sister is a protector, the one who you share closeness with no one else, when nobody else understands, a keeper of secrets and always there to help through thick and thin, a best friend for life and through everything. Sorry. <laughs> and through everything, Cherith has been there for me. One time, when we were little, I was like, Cherith, I don't want you to get married. And she told me why. I said, because then that boy is going to take you away from the family. And I was like, so I don't want you to get married. And she's like, no, you don't understand. When I get married, that boy is not going to take me away, but you're actually going to gain a brother. And that's... I gained Stephen, and Stephen, I've never met someone so compatible with Tara ever in my life. And I am so thankful for both of you, and I'm so happy, and I hope you guys live a very, very long life, very happy, and that's all I have to say. I love you both, and congratulations. In Genesis chapter number two, it says, and the Lord God took man he placed him in the Garden of Eden and he dressed it to keep it. And the Lord commanded that the man saying, Of every tree of the garden thou mayest freely eat. But of the tree of the knowledge of good and evil thou shalt not eat of it. For in the day that thou eatest thereof thou shalt surely die. And the Lord God said, It is not good for man to be alone. I will make him a helpmeet for him. And so God brought Adam to Eve and they became one and God became the very significant other in their lives. Up till now, uh, the normal couple that would uh, have courtship in those dates, there was that little phrase that we would say, you know, two's company, three's a crowd. But Cherith and Stephen learned early on that two's company plus God strengthens that relationship. And so God being in the center of that helps us to understand that He created us for that purpose, to be man and woman. Stephen and Cherith, because you have come together to be joined in marriage, have expressed your commitments to each other in the sight of your family and friends and before God by means of the vows and these rings I declare by the authority invested in me through his holy word that now you become husband and wife.
I am delighted to introduce to you for the very first time Mr. and Mrs. Stephen Henley. Woo!